The Jurassic period was home to thousands of different dinosaurs, big and small. One easy way to learn about them is to split them into two groups. The meat eaters or carnivores. and the plant eaters or herbivores. Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus was a terrifying predator that was almost nine meters long. He had powerful jaws and sharp teeth. Perfect for ripping through his prey's thick skins and swallowing huge chunks of flesh. His teeth were serrated. That means zigzag shaped along the edge like a sou and could slice through flesh easily. Tyrannosaurus Rex, T-Rex. T-Rex had a massive body. A mouth full of 68 inch long super sharp teeth and the strongest bite of any animal and animal ever. Its jaws could have crushed a car. Even more fearsome. Moving quickly about 12 miles an hour. The can of awk catches up to its prey. With one powerful bite, it rips off a hundred pounds of meat. Then it throws its head back, tosses the flesh 15 feet into the air, and catches it to swallow it whole. T-Rex had a brain about twice as large as other dinosaur, suggesting that it might have been more intelligent, with better vision and sense of smell, than its fellow dinosaurs. Spinosaurus This dino has six-inch-long teeth and a sail on its back with spines the size of surfboards. The hungry stalker closes in on the fish, gobbling up the meal. The creature isn't some sort of enormous shark or a vicious crocodile. It's a dinosaur called Spinosaurus. And it's the only known dino that's thought to have welled in water. Spinosaurus was well adapted for aquatic life. Its nostrils were further up on its snout than the nostrils of other dinosaurs. This would have allowed the animal to breathe even with most of its snout submerged. Its crocodile-like teeth were ideal for catching fish. Velociraptor
a pack of two-legged creatures sprints across a desert about 70 million years ago. The dinos are each about six feet, from the tip of their noses to the end of their long tails. But they're only about as tall as a turkey. Running 24 miles an hour. About as fast as a professional bicycle racer. The pack works together to chase the herbivore. Jump on top of it. And grip the prey with two-inch long claws. Then they feast using their 60 serrated teeth. In addition to larger dinos, this small cannibal likely also snacked on little lizards, mammals, dino eggs, and baby dinosaurs. It might have even eaten another baby velociraptors. Experts think Velociraptor was probably one of the smarter dinosaurs because it has a large brain in proportion to its body size. And based on the size of the part of the skull that holds the scent processing part of the brain, experts think Velociraptor had an excellent sense of smell. You might think the herbivores sound a bit less scary. But they were some of the hugest creatures that ever lived. Diplodocus Diplodocus is one of the best-known herbivores, who stood a whopping 26 meters long, with a long neck perfect for reaching leaves at the top of tall trees. Lots of herbivores had many rows of teeth, sometimes pencil-shaped to rake the vegetation, other times rounder or blunt-like spoons to rip leaves from the branches. Brachiosaurus A dinosaur the size of a four-story building slowly approached us a coniferous tree in what's now North America. Stretching up its long neck, the creature rips off pine needles and leaves that few other dinos can reach. This huge plant eater is Brachiosaurus, and it's one of the biggest animals that's ever walked the planet. With long front legs and shorter rear legs, Brachiosaurus was built to feed high in trees. Stegosaurus You better beware this D-nose tail. Stegosaurus is famous for its two rows of kite-shaped plates that stick out from its neck, back, and tail. But the paleontologist who first discovered a Stegosaurus fossil thought the plates laid flat on its back like a turtle's shell. Stegosaurus had horn beaks that could slice the toughest vegetation. Triceratops Two elephant-sized dinosaurs face each other, showing off their long horns and bony neck frills. They are both strong, fully grown triceratops, and neither backs down. Although it might appear dangerous, Triceratops was actually a slow-moving herbivore that used its beak like chew and slicing teeth to pluck and chewed off plants that other dinosaurs couldn't eat. It roamed in what's now Western North America during the Cretaceous period, about 69 million years ago. And how can paleontologists be so sure about what dinosaurs we to? Well, as well as the shape of their skeletons. 
size of stomach cavities, and the type of teeth. There's another way because what goes in must come out. That's right, fossil poo, called a coprolite. Coprolite can help scientists understand the relationships between animals and plants. Seeds, bones, fish scales, or vegetation can be identified and give us an accurate picture of what a dinosaur liked to eat.